So it is question now. So we we'll start off this question, right? The question says that what is the what is the total number of factors of eight eight two triple zero, which have exactly one zero at the end, which have exactly one zero at the end okay okay just try it guys try this question okay so i hope you have tried this question for at least five to six minutes if you have not solved it in the in the required time okay let's see this question look at this question guys this question says that the total number of factors of eight lakh eighty two thousand right so basically i should be knowing what is eight lakh eighty two thousand you have to factorize it right so 882 should be very fast with this 2 into 441 this is 2 into 21 is square this is 2 into 3 is square into 7 is square and then we have further 1000 what is 1000 guys it is 2 cube into 5 cube so once you take what is this 8 lakh 82000 so it is actually uh, 2 cube so basically it should be 2 cube is here and 2 is here should be 2 raised to 4 into uh, 3 is square into into 3 is square into 5 q into 7 is square that is what that is 8 lakh 82,000 in the uh, prime factorization form now basically what I know that we sh I should have exactly 1 0 at the end right so basically see how to how to handle such cases right so for this question actually what we can do is again it's a very mistake prone question actually fine so a lot, a lot of people will do mistakes in this question right so basically I should think of the, some cases here right so like for case 1 so basically the idea behind such kind of question is I can I should only make pairings of what exactly 1 2 exactly 1 2 and exactly 1 5 to form exactly 1 0 and yeah, no? so we should have formed exactly 1 2 and 1 5 pairing for exactly 1 0 right so but we we can have right so obviously but to limit it actually so how, how do we solve that actually right but we can get 0 at the, in the multiple ways no because let's say if I have five twos for example just right, or let's say four twos and even if i have only one five so if i multiply it so i can form only one pair of two and five it's only one zero correct similarly if i let's say i if i have three fives and if i have only one two so again if i multiply this i will only only one zero because i can make only one pairing right so basically these cases will follow right? so we can have multiple twos and single five we can have multiple fives and single twos right so let's now, once you have this idea, right? So let's now proceed with this question actually. Fatafat dekho. Learn these good concepts. Okay. Now, if I see this here, dekho. So basically what I can, what I can see here now, this 2 raised to 4, 3 square. So basically in my first case, what I'll take guys. So my first case will be, I can have multiple multiple twos, right? So when, when twos are many, let's say twos are multiple, right? and 5 is exactly 1 this is one case okay when 2's are multiple and 5 is exactly 1 so how many how many factors we can form in such case guys so basically when 2's are multiple and 5 are exactly 1 okay so how many uh, cases we can form so when that means I can from the 2's bracket I should choose multiple 2's right so you should remember factors yaad, yaad karo. 2 raised to 4 it was that was like its factors are 2 0 2 1 2 square 2 cube and 2 raised to 4 correct now, once these are the values here, so can I say that this 2 raised to 4 has got these 5 factors, but I have to pick at least 1, 2, so I can pick 4 terms from this 2's bracket. So from this 2's bracket, I can pick 4 terms. From 3's bracket, I can pick all the 3 terms, 3 raised to 0, 3 raised to 1, and 3 raised to 2. I can pick all these 3 terms, right? Okay. From 5 brackets, I need exactly 1, 5. So in 5 brackets, we have got actually four terms here 5 0 5 raised to 1 5 square 5 cube i need in my case i need exactly 1 5 right so basically i need only i can pick only one term from here only one term and from seven bracket now i can pick any of the three terms it doesn't affect my question because question is dependent on only two and five not on three and seven so i can pick all the three terms right so basically four into three into three i can have total 36 terms so basically i can have 36 factors when we have multiple 2's and exactly 1, 5. What is this case, guys? I have many 2's and exactly 1, 5. Fine. 
then we have got a case 2 here case 2 in case 2 we can have multiple 5s okay and exactly 1 2 okay so in case 2 we'll have multiple 5s and exactly 1 2 multiple 5s and exactly 1 2 okay now while handling this case if i have if, if i can pick, pick exactly 1 2 that means from 2's bracket i should pick exactly 1 2 exactly 1 power of 2 so only one term i can pick from 3's bracket i can pick any terms any number of terms i can pick all the three options i have from the 5's bracket i can pick how many terms guys so basically 5 raised to 1 5 raised to square 5 cube hai na? so i can pick again i can pick multiple 5's but i can't pick 5 raised to 0 i have to have a 5 here right so 1 2 and 3 to make it pairing with 5 so i can have three options actually and then in 7 bracket again i got three options the total 27 terms right so hope all are, all are getting this right the idea behind it right so what is what and what just understand it guys what are what is this 36 actually huh what is this 36 this 36 is actually the, there are 36 such uh, uh basically factors right or 36 such uh cases of combination of combination of factors where my numbers can number can my, my number can end in exactly one zero for example let me write such one case out of 36 right what i've done from the first bracket, I took I told I have four options. One, two, three, four. From the first bracket, let's say I pick two cube. For example, I pick two cube. Okay. From second bracket, I had three options. I can pick any number. Let's say I pick three square. From the third bracket, or that is five's bracket, I told I can pick only one term because in my case only one five I can take. So only one five, right? And seven bracket, let's say I pick seven. For example, I pick I can pick any one, right? So you can see it, right? It doesn't depend on these two terms actually. 2 cube into 5, which is 40. Now 40 into anything will end in 1, 0. Right, in, in my case, 40 into 63. That is 63 into 4 is 252, that is 2520. That means 2520 is a factor of 882000 with ending in exactly 1, 0 actually. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So how many such, the like 2520 is one number. So how many such numbers I can form? I can form 36 such numbers. 2520 is only one of such numbers among those 36 numbers. I can have total 82, oh sorry, uh, I can have total 36 such numbers, right? By picking different combinations here. Okay, so I had basically, I could pick four numbers from the first bracket. Out of these four, I can pick any two. So basically, it depends whatever number of twos I pick, two into five will always pick only one zero ending. In the case of only one zero ending, right? Similarly for this five also. But, but guys, the question doesn't end here, okay? The question is actually, uh, in doing this, you, you must have noticed that, right? Because we have repeated some cases here, right? Basically, those cases are double counted. In this case also, it is double counted when we have 1, 2 and 1, 5. And here also it is double counted when it is 1, 1 2 and 1, 5. So basically, if I take case 3 here, so in case 3, I can have this 2, 2, 2 here, right? So basically, what I can do here? Uh, when we have exactly 1, 2 and exactly 1, 5. So this case is double counted. So how many in how many cases we have exactly 1, 2 and 1, 5? So in 2's bracket, I can pick only one term, exactly 1 power of 2. One term, okay? In, uh, then basically in uh, 3 square, right? In 3's bracket, I can pick any term, any number of terms, 3 terms I can pick. In 5 bracket, I can only one term, that is 5 raised to 1 because I'm solving this case of only 1, 2 and 1, 5. How many such numbers here? 3, again 1. And then in this sign bracket, I can, I can put in three terms, right? Basically nine terms. So these nine numbers will be actually included in this also and will always be included in this also actually. This nine is double counted, right? So basically, so it basically means that 36 plus 27 minus nine. So 54 is the answer for this question. Again, it's a beautiful question, right? Very nice question, logical question, mistake prone question. 63 would be the answer for most of the people, right? And uh, maybe any other, another answer, but 63 is the most common answer for this question, right? So, and this this question actually gives you a gives you a good idea, gives you a good a good gives you a good idea actually about those numbers, uh, or so those kind of questions. Basically, you have to find such question which is uh, factors ending in one zero, factors ending in two zeros, uh, factors ending in exactly one five, one three. Everywhere you can just apply the same idea, right? So you can just look for all those multiple combinations what are the restricting factors right okay you can all look for those combinations basically let's say for 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 a question if it has to end in five if it has to end in five can i say that let's say if any factor is ending in five 
so can have combination of 3 into 5 also ending in 5 3 square into 5 also ending in 5 right 3 cube so basically it depends on number of 5 here right see for 5 should be single okay as well as 5 can so 5 can be multiple also like 5 square into 3 and all okay so basically you can apply this i this kind of uh, idea in every question of such kind okay chalo so it's a nice question right good and also also this combat guys okay so this a uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so there easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, Uh, this from this Sunday onwards, it is in basically revised format. So basically, we are mo moving closer to CAT right now. So in January, February, and March, we were like away. Uh, we are around eight to ten months away from CAT. So the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level, right? But this from now onwards, the questions will be of higher higher level, okay? And uh, all the LRD sets also. um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 1 year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% or so so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the in, uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay Ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there, okay? And do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve p.m. It's on every Sunday, okay? So every Sunday, give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.